you've stumbled across my channel. My name is Alyssa from Chaotic Brickworm, and welcome to my Halloween TBR. Now, I know there's only like a week until October's over and Halloween is done. Well, about a week for me. It's probably only a few days actually for when I'm posting this, but go do what you gotta do. Alright, so let's get right into it. Okay. So, for starters, um, these are going to be more mystery-based book books. I mean, it's mystery, thriller. Those are the kind of books I really think about when I think of Halloween-ish vibes, you know, like scary, ooh. Uh, but there's also going to be a few adventure books and one fantasy dystopian I don't know, that's kind of spooky scary. Not really, but let's pretend it is because I wanted it on here. So let's let's play pretend. Yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, and if I'm looking down, it's because laptop's right here with everything on it. Yeah. Okay, let's start this off, shall we? Book one, we have Marina by Carlos Ruiz Cepon. I think that's how you pronounce that. Don't at me if it's not. Uh, it's a thriller romance rated 4.1 on Goodreads. Um, I don't know much about it, so this is kind of just, the, this description is definitely kind of just what I've gotten off of Google. A 15-year-old Oscar Dre goes missing from his boarding school in Barcelona before meeting a girl named Marina, who leads him through the old corners of the city. Soon they find themselves upon a graveyard where a ritual takes place every last Sunday of the month. Wanting to know more, they find themselves plunging into an old conspiracy theory taking place in post-war ba Barcelona, finding themselves in more sinister hands than they had first anticipated. This book sounded just... <sighs> cold vibes. Like, what screams Halloween more than a cult. Listen, listen, listen. You can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. You can't. I mean, there are so many questions just in the description alone. Why did he go missing from the boarding school? Who is this random girl who's leading him into a graveyard? And what the heck are these random women yeah, woman doing, having random rituals in a graveyard. I don't know, plus conspiracy theories are like everything, so like, hey yo, why not? Okay, and then book two, The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brackenbrown. Again, not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's a fiction book, it's rated 3.8 on Goodreads, which is good enough. Good, good. I mean, I guess anything above a three is actually pretty good. I don't know. Really. What's what's a good, good rating? Like, yeah, I guess anything above a three is definitely probably a good rating. I'm rambling. Okay. Uh, the Game of Love and Death by Martha Black. <laughs> the Game of Love and Death by Martha Brackenbrow. Flora and Henry knew each other since they were children, however only connected later through their musical talents. Little to their own knowledge, they are nothing but toys used in the century-fought battle between the forces of love and death. This is a very brief description, uh, which... I... But, I mean, okay, I was looking at reviews and someone said that the um, character death uh, lived up to the book Thief, and I haven't actually read the book Thief. It's on my list of things I need to read, but I've heard really, really good things about the book Thief. So, I mean, if this lives up to that book's reputation of the character, if the character death lives up to the character death, 
its reputation in the book thief. I mean, it sounds good to me. I seriously need to read the book thief. God. That might be on my TBR for next month, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. something I've been wanting to get to for a while, dang. But anyway, uh, this really stuck out to me because um, love and death, a battle between them, sounds really interesting, and seeing how Flora and Henry, um, you know, how Flora and Henry play their pawns, in a sense, um, I don't know, there's so much, um, I don't know, there's so much potential that could be brought out in a, um, a story idea like this. Like, I just, it's, I don't know why it's giving me Lovely War vibes. Well, actually, I do know why. Lovely War, oh, <laughs> Lovely War by Julie Berry. So good. Oh, so good. I can't. Oh. Calm, 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 calm. <laughs> but it's killing me inside. <sighs> okay. Um, on to the next one. Book three. This is where we get into adventure. Catwoman, Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Mass. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a part of the DC Icons series. Um, I haven't actually read any of that series. But I heard that you don't need to read it in order. And they don't have the other ones at the library. Well, they do, but they're out. And you know, Catwoman is Catwoman. And I'm not interested in Wonder Woman or Superman. I do have a Batman one I want to read. Off topic. But Batman. Ooh, okay. My heart. Okay, but anyway, Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Mass. Um, it's rated 4.1 on Goodreads, as I said, adventure fiction, the fiction, uh, like I read. Why can't I read a few historical fictions? But historical fiction is not really my everything, you know? Okay, but anyway. Uh, Selena Kyle returns to Gotham City after two years under a new name, Holly Vanderhees. Batman already being out on a new mission, she realizes the city is hers for the taking. I'm pretty sure they said something in a few descriptions about Nightwing being head watch at that time too, which sounds really interesting. Um, because I don't know much about Nightwing. Or, I honestly, the... Honestly, the extent of my Batman knowledge goes from a few movies and whatever fan fiction has pointed out to me. Um, yeah, come at me. Yeah, I deserve it. Insult me. I completely deserve it. Completely deserve it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it sounds fun. I love Catwoman. Batman fan fiction. I love Batman fan fiction. That's that's why I'm reading this book. Yeah, God help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm judging me as much as you are. Anyway, book four, Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. Rated 4.4 on Goodreads. It's the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's also a mystery book. I feel like that's a mystery thriller. Kind of obvious by the title, in my opinion, but not the point. Um, the description of the first book, because I couldn't find any descriptions for the sequel, and it's a sequel, so that's kind of expected. This is just me rambling for, like, more like ten minutes. Okay. The case goes like this. Perfectly popular Andrea Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal Singh, who then killed himself. In the first book, we follow our main character, Pip, who is looking into the murder-suicide that happened five years back for her senior project. However, she finds that the case may not be quite closed. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I read last week? No, the week before last week. I read it in like four days, which is way longer. And I thought I would, but I just, I didn't want it to end. It was so good. I wanted to read, um, Good Girl, Bad Blood, but it wasn't in the library. And it's still out, but I'm really hoping that it will be back by Thursday so I can read it on Halloween. 
because that just feels right to <laughs> me. It just feels, it, it just, it feels right. Okay, it feels yeah, right. Um, but yeah, that. <laughs> I can't. It was so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was a 4.8 star for me. And that's pretty high for me. Like, really high for me. I don't like giving books 5 stars because I'm very indecisive. And if I commit to 5 stars, it's going to be a lifetime commission. Commit. Commitment. Commission. It's no, commitment. It's going to be a lifetime commitment, and I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, last book, book five, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, and the only book I have right now. Um, let me put in the bookmarks. I was literally just reading it. Uh, I'm currently, like, halfway through the book, um only book in here for that because I got this from the library like a week ago and I just started it yesterday and <laughs> it's pretty good like so far pretty good uh it's rated 3.9 on goodreads I've heard very mixed things about it and um yeah I, I can see why you'd like it and I can definitely see why you definitely not like it but it's it's okay it's a thriller dystopian novel. Uh, our main character, Juliet, was born with the power to drain the life force out of whomever she touches. After an incident as a child, she was put in an asylum to keep the people outside whom were already falling apart safe. That is, until someone recognized the lethal power she held. I'm on page 178 currently. And it is... A really good book. I can't, I can't, I mean, okay. So far, it doesn't feel to me at least like anything above a 4.2 star, even a 4. But like, so far, I spoiled myself so bad when looking up um, the plot of this book, like, so bad. Like, but you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna pretend I didn't. I'm going to pretend I never read those words. And I'm going to flush that out of my system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shatter Me by Tahara Murphy. I'm gonna read this like right after we get done here. Okay, actually. No, I'm gonna start. That's, I'm, I'm completely, this isn't my silent time. Okay. Anyway, that's all for today's video. Um, I hope you guys liked it, even though probably half of it was just me rambling. But you know what? Rambling's fun, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyone? Maybe? Possibly? No? Okay. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Um, and if you want to stick around, maybe like comment subscribe maybe possibly turn your notification bells on and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye